Hey, everybody. Welcome to a new podcast. It is called The Talking Show with me, Ryan, and me, Matt. What is The Talking Show, Matt? So The Talking Show is, as Ryan said, it's our new podcast. Um, Super Megacast, our old podcast, that was a thing of 2016. It's a thing of the past, and it's done now. But you can still watch every episode on YouTube and listen to it on iTunes. Yeah, this podcast is essentially going to be pretty much the same thing, where it is me and Ryan, um, a lot of the time with guests. We've already uh, had two other podcasts recorded, and they both have guests. But there's there's plenty more coming down the road, and they're good. But anyway, this podcast is going to be just us talking about whatever the hell we feel like. Um, you got a nice little uh, face cam in the corner where you can see us on the couch, and it does different close-ups of us. Like, there's Ryan up close. Here's me up close. Y'all here's been, a far shot. Y'all been saying you wanted a face cam for the longest time, so we're giving it to you out of the kindness of our hearts because we're good people. But yeah, so we're going to be doing this probably two to four times a week. Depending on what other content we have planned, whether it be sketches or uh, games or whatever. Games, because we do have a, a game series. We also have a new game. I was gonna. We have a new game show, and then like yes, Japanese letters come <laughs> up. But like we have what? What would you call it? I mean the. Uh, You're talking about Flash Flood. Yeah, yeah. We have a new show coming out on the channel called Flash Flood, which is where we just play a bunch of shitty Flash games in like a compilation. So and it, and it might not last long. We'll see. We're, we're always we're just trying whatever we think is fun, and we hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, it's 2017. We're trying new stuff for. Our channel where, you know, 2016 was the year that we started out and, try, you know, we, we got our feet in the water. Uh, and then we took that long hiatus, which we're back from now. Rejoice! Um, but but now we... What the fuck is wrong with you? Anyway, we're, uh, we're back now and we, we had that hiatus to look at, you know, what we wanted to change. Like, we, we took a step back and saw, like, okay, here's the channel in 2016. What do we like? What do we not like? What do we want to do? So we want to do more, you know, sketch stuff, more live action. Um, we want to focus more on games that we actually enjoy instead yep. of just shitty games that we find on a shelf. So expect a lot more series, um, less one-offs, more consistent series that we will finish um, on games that we really like. Uh, but also we still would love to hear from you guys. So uh, if there's any games that you really want us to play, leave it down in the comments and we'll read through it. Um, unless you're listening to this on iTunes, then you won't be seeing our face cam, and, uh, you can't leave a comment, but you should watch it on YouTube, because then you can see our faces. So, just know that if you're listening on iTunes, you're getting the lesser of the experiences, but, 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 you are helping Apple, so, they're a dying company, so we're they glad. They do need support. Yeah, we're glad that you can help them out. Thank you. Um, it's, it's not just, as you were saying, it's not just a new year. It is specific. It, it's it's specifically January twentieth, twenty seventeen. As we are recording this, yes, it is January twentieth, twenty seventeen. That means a new president has arrived. Yes, like two hours before we recorded this. Yeah, we got a new president now. Uh, I his name. Sorry, his name was uh, President Donald Trump. Is now our new president. Yep. Um. <laughs> Okay, actually going back to Apple, mm -hmm. um, you know, small dying company yeah. that, you know, works out of China mainly. Because, it, because they can't afford to work in the United States of America. Right. Well, I, I listened to this piece on NPR about, um, about like the making of iPhones and the factories that they're made in. Mm -hmm. And uh, like uh, there's no, uh, it's obvious that the conditions in these factories are like terrible. But they're, but they're giving kids jobs. That's the thing. Yeah, you know, you can't overlook that. They're doing a, good it, to the community. It's a program that started years and years ago where it gives children the opportunity to earn experience and work and money to help out around the house. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm listening in it. I'm wondering when the line is of legitimately <laughs> advocating for child labor. How many people are listening to this and just not picking up that you're joking? They're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I know. This is a... Yeah. That's not what I expected. There was this great guy named Mao Zedong. He, <laughs> he implicated this great program that could help kids get after school work, all day work. Good old Mao. <laughs> yeah, but those those factories, like, really shitty working <gasps> conditions. And um, people were actually, like, dying every day because they mm -hmm. were taking their own lives because the working conditions were so bad. They and had to put nets. Yeah, their they? solution was to put <laughs> yeah. nets instead of, like, trying to address the problem of, like, why is everyone killing themselves? They put they just put nets around the buildings to catch people. It's it's like hurriedly like 
putting in like just a bunch of wet paper towels in like a hole in like the sink or something to stop the <laughs> yeah. leak. Like that's all they were doing with that. They're not stopping the leak. Like you're in, you're in a canoe and you just stuff yeah. some wet paper towels in the hole. Uh, you were going on something before we got on the wonderful topic of child labor. Uh, what what was were, I? You, probably not. I we don't were probably remember the topic. just going into this talking about child child labor. I mean, I love child labor. If we could I'm get, all for it. If we could get children to handcraft super mega episodes, oh, I would love to outsource. Okay, imagine super mega editing to Chinese factories with children. I would love to. T like record one episode or one podcast and then just put the raw stuff online mm -hmm. and just let people edit it how they want to and then just like Upload whatever we get back first. Yeah, and just see see how people edit it. Let's we'll, we'll see We'll, we'll talk see. about that yeah. in the future. Maybe we'll we'll do some or yeah. like green screen videos of us or something and see mm -hmm. what people do But speaking of kids we did not see that many at our live show which we uh, yeah did just a few days ago Which uh, -huh. uh it's over and done with the nerves are settled um, It all came out in shit form for Matt. Yes. And, uh... It really did. I actually have a video on my phone that I took of the toilet bowl, but that's for another day. That's like when I was liquid shitting, like, everywhere. Oh, when Remember? you were sick, yeah. It was like nine times in that one day. Like, during the meeting, I did it like four times. Dude, I'm just thinking, but, like, people that have, like, are just tuning in for the first time. That, we, that we've aren't... talked about child labor. Yeah. Liquidy shits. Uh-huh. You know, this is this is what this podcast is. This is what you're in for. You're it's, in for a good ride. It's just it's just dudes being dudes. Just a couple dudes hanging out, a couple bros. Just a couple Dude. guys being dudes, men I, being guys. All I need is to crack a brew right now, and I'm good to go. But you can't have brew. Two weeks, I can. Two weeks? Wait. 20. Yes, exactly two weeks and two days, or one one day. But you're going home, right? For your, yeah, for yeah, I'm for going, your going back to my, my, my homeland for... Uh, my birthday. I'll have a little present waiting for you when you get back. What's it gonna be? I don't know. I can't tell you. I want to have a second twenty first when I get back. You want to do that? You want to like get some people together and have a second twenty first? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. All right. Cool. Yeah. Uh, would you want to go to like round one or something? Oh, yes. Or would you want to go get some sushi, dude? In little Tokyo, dude. I just want to get together with you, <laughs> Ding Dong, Julian, Aaron Hansen, maybe Chris O'Neill. I don't know. He's, uh, yeah. He's all right. Yeah. Just, you know, just get together, dude. Crack a couple brews, you know what I'm saying? Get rock and roll, wasted. dude. Well, I'm, rock and roll. I'm excited because now you can finally come to a bar that I like. I'm not going to say the name, of course, but... Uh, I know what bar it is. Yeah. I I went there once when I was 19. And they kicked you, you out. And they kicked me out. Yeah. I wasn't even drinking, though. I was just no. going to play darts because it was yeah. fun. <laughs> but I like because they have darts and I, the bartender there was nice. And it's just a night. It's also a good environment. Yeah, but I, I'd love to go out and get some drinks. Vernon wants to take me out for drinks. Should wants I, to take you out to the ball game. Should I... Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. <laughs> yeah. I don't care if we what, ever get back. What are, what are Cracker Jacks? Cracker Jacks are those, you know, they, they still the, sell them. Are they like, the popcorn caramel yeah, thing? Yeah, like it's caramel corn with peanuts too. Yes. Classic American snack. <coughs> you know, now that we're doing face cam, I think we need to be a lot more emotive. So, you know, it's like, dude, all right, so Cracker Jacks. Yeah. All American snack. Classic. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <laughs> if you try one, you can't stop. Oh You're gonna love them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay, wait. I got a I got a funny idea. Ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Let me hear it. Okay. Okay, ready? Pancake hamster. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's random and it's funny. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I kinda wanna take it back to the live show. Uh how do you think it went? It was our first live show, so um, it's actually weird because in the next episode we talk about things before the live show because mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're with our guest, which if you were at our live show, you know who the next guest is going to be because we announced it, yep. but uh, he's like, oh, I'm going to come to your live show, and then we're like, oh, you're going to come? Cool. So this is like a, like a weird time trip thing, mm -hmm. but you know, I think it went... Um, it, of course, it wasn't perfect because it was our first show. A little, little nervous and stuff, but yeah. overall, you know, it didn't really have much structure. It was kind of just like, we have no idea what we're doing, but we're just going to talk and have fun with you guys. And yeah. that's essentially what it was. I had a great time. Yeah, same. Like, feeling the crowd around. Just walking around and feeling the crowd. Yeah, uh, 18 plus. I'm surprised because I was actually, I got to give, I got to give all the listeners credit because I've always just assumed, um... From going to conventions, and if, stuff. if you've seen his Twitter, you'll you'll, you'll get yeah that. you'll you'll get the picture that just like I've always assumed by the comment section in my Twitter and especially going to see things like VidCon that our fan base is very young yeah and but I realized that you know it's that's just the 
that's just the surface layer of the fan base because, mm -hmm. you know, the younger people are the ones that want to get noticed. They're the ones that want to like interact more while older people like us, when we watch videos, we don't comment or anything. We just sit back and watch. It doesn't come to mind unless it's kind of like a, uh, like someone I really, really like. And I'm like, right. But even then I'm not like, good job. Cause it's like, they know, they know they did a good job. Like if, if it's something I want to congratulate someone on, it would be like if I met them in person, like, dude, really loved this of yours. Like, I loved yeah. your work in this. And that was cool to see people uh, actually uh, know uh, me and you from Syndigo. Some yeah. people have been around since Syndigo, which is pretty cool, because Syndigo started back in 2012? Yeah, 2012. Yeah. Uh, like Holy December. shit, that's five years ago now. Yep. Or if it started in what? December. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, I we were actually shocked when we came out on stage and saw that Pretty much the entire crowd consisted of like 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 year old people. And an 8 foot 14 year old. Okay, there was a 14 year old. He was like 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, he was 6'6". Six, six. He walked up. I would have I would have seriously guessed he was 20. He's like, what, how old are you? 14. Yeah, he had like a deep <laughs> voice. He's taller than both of us. He has like like some scrub. He's like, hey, I really like the show. And we're like, hey, what's your name? He gave us a name. I'm 14. We're like, what? It's like something out of a Zoolander like... One off joke. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say he's something out of a zoo. <laughs> he's dude something out of a zoo. You gotta see him. He's such a fr he's, fucking freak. He... No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't mean it. No, it's, it's he's probably watching. He probably is watching. You know yeah. who you are, and you're a very tall, handsome young man. But uh, also, like, if you came to the live show, thank you again for coming and showing your support. Yeah. Uh, we had a good time. In the future, if we do do more live shows, uh, we do want it to have a lot more structure. Yeah. Um. And uh, I don't know. I don't want to say too much because we already have some stuff kind of up here. Yeah, up here. We we definitely um, we do want to do some more live shows. Mm -hmm. um, they're really fun. And for those of you who don't know what it is, it's it's not. We're not playing games or anything. It's not like this big kind of. I don't know. It's, like, not, yeah! like, it's not like an, an uh, live improv show as well. It's it's legitimately a it's live this. podcast. It's yeah. this. There's two chairs on with stage. audience interaction. Of right. Course. We come and we sit down on the chairs. And we have, like, very little planned out. We have, like, a few topics on hand and mm -hmm. stuff and maybe, like, a bit here and there. But for the rest of it, we just sit down with mics and we sit in front of this audience of, it was about 150 at the first show, yeah. 150 people. Mm -hmm. We just sit and we talk to each other. We just go on these weird tangents conversations. We ask the audience questions. We do Q&As. And then afterwards, we just kind of, like... Uh, shake hands and sign posters and stuff, whatever people want. But it was really fun, and I had a great time. And it was really nice meeting everyone who came. So if yeah. you came, thank you. Nice meeting you. The and, hi um, is a good venue as well. Yeah, I really I like it because they like they have burgers and like other foods, and then they have like a, it's a wine and beer bar. They don't yeah, have so uh, you can get wine and beer liquor. If you want. Okay, I'm back. I had to take a shit. <laughs> yeah, I did. I know. I watched against your will. <laughs> there was a hole in the door. I just. Peeked right on through. <laughs> the holes in the door are <laughs> stuffed with paper towels. Someone stuffed them with paper towels. It I know. Took a, it took longer than I thought it would. It's been years. Did, did, was someone looking? Uh, may, there might have been an incident. <laughs> Brent. Vernon, Vernon Brent. and Brent. Vernon and Brent. It was <laughs> yeah. one of those two. You know what's actually really mean of me? Um, so a good friend of mine, Christian. You know Christian. Yep. He's visited before. Great guy. He, uh, he was my roommate freshman year of college. Unfortunately. For him. I, yeah, very, very bad for him because he... <laughs> you always fuck with him. I know. We, we. I always, me and my buddy Jackson, we always fucked with him. It mm -hmm. was really mean. But still to this day, he's one of my best friends ever. He's been one of my best friends for ages. Very um, supportive. Yeah, he's very supportive. Just nice, down-to-earth dude. Mm -hmm. But he, uh... What it... Yeah, so in, a, in our dorm, there was a bathroom. And there was about this much space from the top of the bathroom door to the ceiling where you could just, like... And he'd be taking a shit, and I would just, like, put my phone over and Snapchat <laughs> oh it. And I'd Snapchat him taking a shit to himself. Evan, I'd just be in my room, and I'd hear him in the bathroom, like, Oh, come on, dude! <laughs> there's gonna Spreading be a, there's gonna like be a lot more story. There's gonna be a lot of stories that you have to tell about Christian, Christian in the future. There I'm are sure. a lot of amazing stories about Christian that, you know, I, I do not deserve a friend like Christian, of all the shit that I've done to him. Um, I can actually tell you the biggest one. Well, sorry, before that, it is kind of his fault. He is continuing to be my friend. Yes. So I don't fuck with you though. Like I fuck with Christian. <clears throat> no, I can't. I don't think I fuck with you. Uh, well, I fuck with Christian. Is just like 
it, he has such a genuine reaction to everything, and he's just such a, like a nice human yeah. that it's funnier to fuck with him. Yeah, because I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, ex- essentially, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm not a genuine human. I'm fake as fuck. No, but it's not. I did not mm-hmm. mean for it to come off. Like yeah. That. Mm-hmm. But uh, Christian, um, one of the one of the big uh, episodes I did with Christian was Jackson and I. Um, Jackson's uh, the other guy from Kids with Problems with the beard and glasses. Um, we made a series of posters. Uh, mm-hmm. Advertising <clears throat> hentai club. Uh, so we made these like official posters, looking like they were actually for like a real hentai club at the college. Mm-hmm. And um, we put his name and email address on it. If it was like for more information, contact club director, um, like Christian Senpai, and then put his like email address. Really, not mean. the same posters that you used for the video. They were the same posters I used in the old. Is his email in the video? No, no, no. no. I okay. changed it for that. But <clears throat> essentially, we went and we put about fifty of them around campus. Yeah, and. Uh, they found their way on Reddit. They found their way on Tumblr. <laughs> oh my god! Um, they found their way on Instagram. I still recently, a couple months ago, I saw uh, one of them on Instagram with like three thousand likes. The funny thing to me is that people they post shit like they'll take a picture of it and be like, "Look at this weird thing I found," and they think it's at the expense of the people they that they think the hentai club is surrounding, but it's actually your joke. This doesn't exist, so it's like this meta kind of joke within a joke yeah. on people who think. That it's a joke, yeah. Type of thing, but uh, yeah. We also did it to uh, another buddy with Meme Club, and it was uh, a very cringy poster. Yeah, we made it as cringy as we could. <laughs> did anyone join? Uh, he okay. So Meme actually, Club? so l- well, let me wrap up the hentai club story. Um, he found out, was not very happy. Mm-hmm. Um, I profusely apologize, and I feel like shit to this day for that. I admit that went way too far. It was funny at the time, but it's every, still but funny everyone, now. Doesn't he still, he still receives emails. No, he received he? one like a year ago, but we did Meme Club with our other buddy. Yeah. So Meme Club, uh, we did the same thing where we put like Grumpy Cat and like just really, really bad memes. Neon Cat? Uh, we put uh, Shoop De Whoop and it was like, do, okay. it was like, do you like memes? <laughs> do you like firing your lasers? Oh like, my God. It was really crazy. Are you serious? <laughs> we put like, like firing your, okay. Firing your lasers. And then we put like, we put like all these troll faces and it was like, it was like, you mad bro, join <laughs> meme club. And we put his email and everything. <laughs> And, uh, I wish I could see this poster. Oh, I, I have both of them still. Or okay. I don't know if I mean club, but, uh, in the video, I'll put the hentai club poster up, obviously with- If my... you can find the meme one, please. I will, I will. I'll, I'll do some digging and see if I can find <laughs> you it. You mad, um, bro. Um, essentially, what happened was, he started getting emails of people being, like, <laughs> just, like, making fun of them and stuff. <laughs> and this is, we put their school emails, not their, like, regular emails, so yeah. these are their, like, .edu emails. <laughs> and, um... That picture of the meme club poster ended up on 4chan's B board and ended up on really? B. Really? Yeah, which was the worst day of his life because people found him on Facebook. No. And he just started getting messages on Facebook being like, you're the laughing stock of B right now. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, oh my god. And he says still to this day, um, he still gets emails about uh, okay. meme club. What is that? I can't even read it. Sorry, Ding Dong is... Uh, outside the oh, he's holding up the Five Nights at Freddy's calendar he got oh, us for Christmas. Oh, I'm, we're sorry. We, we didn't use, use it. it. We no, we're sorry. We're still gonna use it. We're st- it's for this year. It's for. Uh, I think we made him upset. Finish your we story. Should, should, that's the end. We gotta go talk. Yeah, to him. Uh, we gotta wrap this up. We gotta go apologize to Ding Dong. Yeah, uh, but, but thank but, you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support of the live show. Um, we hope that you like this new format. It's something that we're definitely more comfortable with, and something that we're more proud of making. So uh, it feels ho- better. It's fun. hopefully um, if you're not used to it yet, you will be. And uh, if if you feel like this is a, a mistake, Matt, would you, do you have uh, anything to say? Well, I would say this. I would say if you like the format, if you don't like it, whatever, leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want us to talk about in the comments because yep. we've already. This is the third episode we've recorded, even though it's the first episode. We're already running out of ideas. So please give us topics in the comments. And if you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't like it. I mean, guess give it a dislike. Don't give it a dislike, but I mean, if you really want to, I... you're gonna, they're gonna do it in spite of you. Now they're gonna give the video a dislike. Fuck. Anyway, guys, this is the new format. Uh, multiple times a week now, because we're gonna move more out of. We're gonna focus more on series, um, which means not as many gameplay videos, um, which means more of this, because people like our podcast. So we figured we'd move more in this direction. So, uh, guys, hope you enjoy it. Um, it's on iTunes. Maybe at the time of this coming out, it might not be yet, 
but this well, will be, be on there'll be an announcement soon. on Twitter. Make sure to follow us on Twitter. Yeah, at Super Mega Show. Mm -hmm. That's the channel Twitter. But you can also follow our personal Twitters, which are actually on screen right yep. now. Or so, in the description, whichever one you like. Whatever you want. Or check out our subreddit. Yep. It, it's only like a thousand something people right now. It's like a fun little little place. And we'll probably do an AMA on there yeah. uh, coming up within the next month or so. So go subscribe there. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to the first episode. We have two episodes uh, coming up, I think, later this week, possibly yeah. one next week, that you'll really enjoy because they turned out, I think they turned out great yep. with two guests. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for sticking around. Yeah. And we hope to see you guys later. We at, well, we'll only see it live. Whatever. Okay, bye. Bye.